All right. Are we ready to play? Check this. Check this. Check this. Check this. Check this. Check this. Check this out. This out. Give me a name. Don't you have a name? Yeah, it's Angie, but I never liked it. We're going undercover. Even deeper. We're going undercover. Deeper than that. We're going undercover. That's right. Deep cover. I need you to do something unusual for me. How about this? How do you fly a 767? Plane, James Taylor, you've got a friend. No! There is one place. We could get our hands on that kind of money, but it is going to be a hell of a reach. Yeah, a kiss... Giles, can you get up? Yeah, I can't oh, get it. I can't. Oh, it's so bad. Yeah. You got it? Oh, God, you know, my fingers are touching it, but I think I'm pushing it back. Don't push it back. Comic-Con. Every year, the comic book faithful flock to this celebration of fantasy, fandom, and, of course, the human form. Can you tell me exactly what is the tactical advantage to having this midriff area so... You know, free movement, no snagging. Or... Is a practicality to it? I'd like to think so. She's powerful, she's regal, she's noble, but I don't want her overtly sexual where, you know, she's giving away the store. No, you wouldn't want her to give away the store. Right, with right, this outfit. right. I mean, um, okay, well, like this outfit, her, her nipples, of course. Are they brown? Are they pink? We no, don't know the circumference of her nipples. Right. Don't you think it's sad that boys don't have the same kind of superhero to look up to? It's just like, just unencumbered, powerful, and comfortable in his own skin, and just like out there, and doing high kicks. Showing up their side badge. Right. I'm a little bit confused because this seems like the kind of picture that people used to masturbate to before the internet. Sure, entirely possible. Yeah. Entirely possible. I work for a good company that's just doing a bad thing, and I need you to shine a light on that. Okay. Story's all here. You just gotta frame it and print it. Well, we're online only. There's no print. Let's go. Hold up. <clears throat> Fine, it happened the other day. I just had to get out and give it a little push. Can I steer? Teach my boy how to drive on a family vacation? Sounds like we're about to make some memories. Yeah. Go on! Oh. Oh. What's wrong with him? Oh. You're aware of how you're coming across right now, right? Yeah, awesomely. Spirited young man. See? Somebody like... He's an idiot. Just know I know there's something you're still not telling me. You got me fired! I don't know what you're talking about. I got fired. I just wanted to give the kids a good vacation. I'm gonna need you to repeat the words you said because I didn't hear them. <laughs> You're so high. I'm saving your life, dude! What happened? We crashed, man! I see what you're doing. Excuse me. Hanging back, sizing people up. I did the same thing my first week at Bing. Oh no, I'm just really bad at hiking. Oh yeah, sure you are. We both know this ELT mission is a goddamn horse and pony show. And when it goes tits up, this island's gonna get Lord of the Flies real fast. Getting saved or not? Nope. Nobody cares about a plane crash unless there's a famous ass in one of those seats. So unless Brendan Fraser was lounging in first class. Brendan, Brendan think, Fraser? You guys think if Brendan Fraser was in a plane crash, it wouldn't be the top story in the country? No. <laughs> I mean, she's missing. Well, where is she? That's, that's the question. Why? Portia, no one at the table knows. <laughs> oh my God, I feel like that. I feel like I'm about to cry. I know, right? I mean, it's insane. Door. Did I sleep with that waiter a few years ago? I don't. What is up with you, Dory? Dory, how is it that you are so good at all the stuff no one else wants to do? Yeah. I'm just happy I could help. Chantal? I think that you just randomly decided that this matters to you. Chantal? Because you don't have anything else. What can you tell me about your alien experience? Oh, it was pretty late. It was around midnight. I just got back from a terrible date, which is just a normal date for me. And I thought I'd just go to bed. But I couldn't sleep that night for some reason. I just kept waking up. I saw this dark shape in the corner of my room. But this time it wasn't my ex-husband. So I went down to the kitchen for a late night snack. And I sensed this presence behind me. Hi, Margaret. Don't 
get weird. When we woke up, we were in some kind of examination room. I will never forget. They looked me right in the eyes. I will never believe what they said. You are special. You are special. Okay, he's looking right at me. Shit, hang on. Shit. I know my freaking job, Jeff. Oh, eat a dick. It's not like he's gonna remember any of this. We're just gonna wipe his mind, tell him he's special, and send him on his way like all the others. I know this might be difficult, so I usually like to start these interviews with just a few basic questions. Oh, I'm not here to talk about my experience, Ozzy. I'm much more interested in hearing about yours. Don't get weird, okay? Oh my god, that is so creepy. traditional sports that helps bring what we've been doing for so long to the mainstream it's just blown up everyone freeze you're out go sit down Push that system, bring the heat so the whole world lives.